Right, guys, so I just want to uh, start off saying a big thank you to uh, everybody that uh, has purchased the software thus far. It's enabled me to uh, spend some uh, some time on learning some uh, new programming languages, techniques, etc., uh, to improve the software. So it's uh, the software has vastly improved from the uh, beta version uh, in terms of the server, you know, queue in times, uh, the regions on offer, and the uh, program stability uh, and features. So. Uh, we're going to take a look at the program now. Uh, we're offering a trial for the next two weeks. Um, in terms of uh, what you're going to be able to do with the software, uh, there's another video on the channel. You can go and have a look at that. The beta software explains a lot of, uh, of how it's working. I'm just going to show you the new features in this video and uh, and give you a quick demonstration. Um, so once you download the, um, the zip file, um, you'll unzip it somewhere, uh, hopefully on your desktop, something like that. Um, and then you'll open the folder and you'll see here sbmmoff.exe so you'll see the little administrator icon there that means that this file will not start unless you have administrator access so just double click on the file it'll automatically ask you uh, do you want to uh, allow this uh, program to make changes you click yes I'll start the software up okay uh, as we can see over here we've got a help button at the top it's pretty self-explanatory um, has some details about the software there, how it works. Uh, even got a video there as well. Um, so take a look at that. Okay, just the help section. It's got some details in there. Uh, certainly worth looking at, especially if you're uh, if you have any issues at all with the software. Um, so let's go back. Let's close those windows. Okay. Um, you'll see that we've now also added an update feature. Um, so simply you, every now and again, uh, just check for an update. Like so, you click on the button. Uh, there's no updates available. Okay. Um, if there is an update available, it will notify you and let you know how to proceed uh, so that you can get the update. It's also an option here to quickly restart your computer. Uh, that's good after you reset your your settings. Um, but what we're going to do now, we're going to um, uh, we're going to actually go and uh, uh, take a look um, at how it's working. So just before we begin, you don't usually need to click restore default settings, but I'm going to do that because uh, just to make sure that I've cleared everything out of the uh, the settings. Uh. Okay, I'm not going to restart. I've just restarted. Okay, so in terms of, you know, achieving bot lobbies, um, if you're playing quads or trios or something like that, it's going to be extremely hard for you to get a bot lobby. Okay. Um, if you are going to get a bot lobby, it's going to be in the Middle East, okay? Simply because the way that skill-based matchmaking works in those region, in that region, um, is that it doesn't work very well. To be quite frank, it's due to the low uh, amounts of players from those regions, so on and so forth. Um, and I'm talking about you know solos, trios, etc. Rebirths a, a different story. Uh, rebirth servers are available in every region. You can get a game pretty much 24/7 uh, because the servers are constantly running. Whereas um, with solos, duos, quads, etc., the servers are only put online when there's a demand. So if there's not players online from those regions, um, there won't be servers online in those regions. Um, that's the way that it works. That's why sometimes if you was to search for a game uh, in the Middle East at, say, 4 a.m. in the morning, uh, you might not find one. Or it might take you, you know, 30 minutes queuing time. It's just because there, there is no players uh, online in that region generally. Uh, in those hours. So anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to go and check out the Middle East servers now. So we'll click on Connect to Middle East servers. You will see uh, that um, the cursor's moving there. That means that it's working. Uh, it will give you a notification once it's done. It's applying the settings now. Um, and you can... Yeah, okay, please close the software and start your game. As you can see, you know, we've got a little animation there. His eyes went green. That lets you know uh, that the settings have been applied. Okay. Um, so what we can actually do now is um, we close the software down. Okay, We don't need to have the software running whilst we're playing the game or whilst we have our Battle.net client up and open. Um, the good thing about that is is it's totally undetectable because uh, we're not running the software whilst you're running your, your game or the Battle.net client um, and it doesn't interfere in, with your game in any shape or form, your game files should I say. All right, so it's not touching your game, and there's no way you can get banned or anything like that. Um, if you are currently using a VPN, 
and you you prefer to play uh, on on servers out of your region, um, then if you do the maths in terms of using the software, it's going to save you uh, about sixty percent compared to all of any VPN on the market. Uh, so in that sense, it makes great sense to to use this software. Uh, on top of that, you can get bot lobbies, um, but that's that's major- you know in the solo in the solos mostly. You can get them in duos and quads as well in the Middle East, but just not quite as regular. But no matter where you play, if you play on Middle East or USA servers, you're going to see um, a decrease in the average KD of the server that you're playing on. All right, it's as simple as that. Um, the software doesn't change your geolocation or anything like that, uh, and it's not a VPN, okay? So it doesn't change your IP, geolocation, or anything like that at all. Anyway, um, let's go and uh, open up uh, Call of Duty. Okay, we're going to click on Play. And um, we're going to go and queue up for a, a solo lobby. Now, the the way that it works, um, if you're connecting to the Middle East, for example, it will first search for a game in Saudi Arabia, then Bahrain, and then failing that, Singapore. Okay, and the reason for that is, is if you uh, only search for a game in, say, Saudi Arabia, you might not get one for a couple of days because maybe the servers are not online. Uh, it's just the way that... Call of Duty works with their servers. They're not on 24-7. The only things that appear to be on 24-7 um, are the rebirth servers. Um, you can get a rebirth game pretty much uh, anywhere around the world at any time. Uh, but when it comes to solos and stuff, usually what happens is if a player from, say, Saudi Arabia comes online and he's searching for a solo and there's not enough players searching, it will move him, uh, you know, into, say, Italy or Germany and he, even though he's from Saudi Arabia, he will be moved to that area because that's where uh, the servers are online at that time. Okay. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go and load the game up. Okay. And we're going to jump or search rather straight away for a, a solo. Okay. So let's get ourselves searching for a solo. Oh, actually, before we do that, we're just going to check that everything's working okay in terms of, uh, you know, the settings we just applied, okay? Now, the quickest and easiest way to check that everything's working is just to go over to Rebirth, okay? Click on Rebirth, search for a match, and straight away you'll see it's searching for a match with a high ping, okay? So this is not what, what would normally happen if we wasn't using the software. It would search from, you know, a 30 or 40 ping, and put us in a low ping server but because we're searching out of the region i.e the middle east of course your ping is going to be higher uh, but the reason we're connecting to rebirth is to see that our connection is working because you can get a rebirth game you know within a minute uh you know or two at most uh anywhere around the world so as long as we can connect to a server now uh in the next moment on rebirth then we know that our settings have definitely taken uh, effect if we can't connect and find a rebirth server within the next couple of minutes, then uh, that would say to me that there's something wrong, something's gone wrong somewhere, and we'd need to uh, close our game down and repeat the process. But as you can see, we are finding a game. Um, it's just put us in a rebirth game here. And then what you'll notice is the ping should be about 140 for me, because uh, I suspect it's probably put us uh, on a server in Bahrain. Okay, yeah, 141. So we are, you know, I'm on a server in Bahrain right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to back out from the game here. Like so. And then we're going to go and search for a solo game. So we're going to go over to here. Again, our ping is searching. Uh, sorry, our game is searching from high ping. So we know everything's working okay. So we're just going to... Uh, just hold up here for a minute and search for a game now. Obviously, because we're connecting in a different region and there's less players in that region, this does generally mean longer loading times, uh, searching times, i.e. searching for a game. So you have to bear that in mind. Uh, and, of course, you're going to have a higher ping on that on those servers. But if you're getting on a, on a server, on a solo in the Middle East, um, and you're you know nearly every game you're getting in is a 0 0.6... 0.7 KD solo lobby, 
um, you know, those tra- those those players are bots basically. So you're gonna have no, you're gonna have no problem even with the slight ping disadvantage that you have. Uh, you know, doing very well in those servers. Okay. Uh, so anyway, we'll just keep searching here. We'll find this one in the next few minutes. As I said a minute ago, the way that the software works is first of all, it'll search in Saudi Arabia and then Bahrain and then Singapore. Uh, and you know, I, I really, really last push it was search in uh, South Africa. And the reason for that is, is if we just concentrate on one country. We might not find a game for a couple of hours, so we have to, uh, you know, have at least a bit of a broader choice in terms of where we're willing to connect to. So we've got into a server. You can see it's it's one o'clock my time. Uh, actually, that clock's that clock's wrong. It's actually uh, eleven o'clock a.m. here in the UK. Uh, so, you know, you've seen there, we've got into a game very, very easily. Okay. I'm not going to, okay. I'm looking at the ping here for me. Um, I can tell you that we're actually on a Singaporean server right now. Uh, unlike the rebirth server, which was Bahrain. And you will find that occasionally, um, you know, your first game will be in Bahrain. Your second game will be in Singapore. Uh, then you may end up in South Africa. So you'll get you get a really good range of uh, options when you're playing. And no matter where you're playing, you will always get, in general, a lower KD game than you would have done uh, playing on, say, EU servers. Okay? So I'm not going to play this game. Um... Reason for that being, it'll take too long. I don't want to see you making a long, long video of you seeing me uh, killing people. So we're going to back out of the game now. Okay, and that's basically how the software works. Um, now, obviously, when you want to return to, uh, let's say, normal play, okay... Um, what you're going to do is, is first of all, you're going to want to close your game out here. Okay, and then make sure you close your battle client as well. Okay, and then uh, we're going to restart the software. And then we just click restore default settings and that will restore our default connection settings. Um, so that we can, you know, go and uh, play as normal with our friends or or where, however it is you want to play. Okay, so that is the uh, the software that we've got there. That's how you use it. Uh, there's more details in the in the help section. Need a little bit more help there. Um, again, I want to say thank you to everyone that's uh, purchased the product so far. That's enabled me to uh, come as far as I have with the development. Um, we will be adding future, uh, obviously, uh, upgrades, etc. Uh, to the software in the future all right so there's a free trial um it's for the next two weeks okay and try it out but uh, remember if, if 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 you can see up here at the top as well it says usa players only we are developing um or trying to improve the options there for us players right now this this product is targeted at uh, people from the european union or europe rather from europe okay so uh if you if you want to use it uh, and you're in the United States, don't expect to get bot lobbies with it. Uh, you can play around, test the dish, different options. Right now it's targeted uh, at working for people in Europe, okay? Uh, and remember to get bot lobbies, you need to be connecting to Middle East uh, solos, okay? So check it out, give it a go, uh, leave your comments below. You've got a trial, a free trial for the next two weeks, all right? Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye for now.